Paradise found. We did it! No more 1-Up Mushrooms, we're done, Mario's in heaven. Hello beautiful people, David here with some more Pippin Mario the Origami King, and I'm at this freaking guy. Let's dispense with him. I'm gonna leave him in stitches. Let's turn this on. Oh no, actually. That probably was a better option I could have done, but I need to set everything on fire. You know how it goes. So, how you guys been doing? I've been wanting to record again. For some reason I've been in like a bit of a funk with recording. I just couldn't record all week. I just didn't, couldn't bring myself to do it, whether it's laziness or just... I wouldn't even say I've been feeling unmotivated. I think I've just been a little tired from kind of the whole change in content strategy that I've been executing on. I like that he removes his own HP when he does that. Let's set everything on fire, shall we? Oh, come on! Are you serious? This battle is making my brain all crazy. I gotta watch my HP too, because I don't want to run out of it. But if we burn all the tape, then we should be good. But yeah, just like feeling a little like just in a funk with videos, but I've been doing more anime reactions and I hope you guys have been liking them. They do better for views, so that's kind of why that's been a thing. I do love this game though and I want to finish it, but it may be a sign that I might change my content strategy around. Uh, but let me know if you still like watching me Let's Play. I don't want to stop doing it all together because I really love it. But it just so happens to be the case that I don't really have any games that I want to play right now, so I could just try diving into something a little different content-wise, at least for a bit. And I've been growing the, the channel, honestly, has been growing since I started focusing a little bit on those animal, the Animal Crossing, those, uh, those anime reactions. I need to get the on switch back, and then the magic hands, and then boom. Perfect! Just in case he pulls something fancy out of his ass, I don't want to deal with it. <laughs> Question of the day, if there's another game you want to see me let's play, or a game that I stopped let's playing that you want to see me continue, let me know. Because I'm kind of in that phase where I know I'm going to finish this game probably soon-ish. There's this. Crap! Everything leads me to a goddamn action. Oh, I hate you. I freaking hate you. Oh my god, I just want this battle to end. Okay, this should be the end. I, I am just exhausted. Okay, come on. Because I believe I can make him upside down if I do this. Are you serious? I can't even do it when you're... Well, now he's not wound up, but it doesn't effing matter. We're almost there. We're almost done. I feel it. This feels good. Then we should be able to rip out his tape, and that should be good as gravy. Look at me. I'm almost fully healed. I love how he was even so nice and faced me. Okay, this should be the end of it. Lift it. Lift it! God freaking damn it! Okay. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Is he dead? I can't believe how close I was to beating him last episode. That still took so long from where I started this one. Ah, it hoits, it hoits. Don't do this to me. I'm a changed adhesive. I won't stick nobody up no more, I swear. Boys, Ollie, you gotta do something. You gotta avenge me. Ah, ah, uh, yeah, forget about it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's great. I love this guy. Probably because I think I've used that voice for the other pieces of stationery, and they just double down for this guy. Because I think canonically that was his shtick. I liked him. He was cool. I mean, he got me. I always respect a boss that gets me. Because, you know, I kind of have gamer syndrome. Where, like, you never really expect you can die, and then it happens, and you're like, oh, whoops. <laughs> Can reach the streamer Mario, you know what to do. Okay. I'm curious about what all the rest of the stuff on this roof is, but I'm sure we'll find out very soon. Let's just break this forever. And all time. And then we only got one more streamer left, guys. And then maybe watch the game give me like a crazy quest after the streamer before the freaking final dungeon. And I'm assuming the final dungeon is Peach's Castle. But it's gonna be all origamified. The way it looks on that mountain almost reminds me of Bowser's Keep from Mario RPG. 
Shoutouts if you remember that game. Purple streamer cleared. Which means purple toads are gonna flock to the mushroom king, uh, to the, you know, uh, to the, pe the toad town. I almost said peach town. And my max confetti increase, which probably won't matter because I'll just find more holes. <laughs> Alrighty. Hooray! Now there's just one streamer left. I don't think we've seen the last one yet, have we? It can be anywhere. Oh, we'll find it. Do we even know what color it is? Take down the red one, the blue one. How about use that as an indicator? The green streamer has been there this whole time. Very convenient. It's just something about this game. It feels like, you know, the original games, like, they would have you go, like, you would start in Toad Town, you'd go to the place, and then you'd get the the Star Spirit, you'd come back, and then in this game, and then in the second game, you'd be in Rogueport, you'd go to a place, get a Crystal Star, come back, go to the other place, come back. Like, we don't go back to Toad Town as a hub at all. Well, this game is very much, like, it kind of continues you along, which I really like. But also, I want to get back to the frickin' Japan land, and I want to, like, see what's there, because they didn't forget about it. I can't float that high, and it looks way too high to jump, even for you, Mario. Maybe there's some kind of hint up here, which we're thinking, but you never know. Well, hopefully this makes me go back, and then I'll be able to do all that stuff. Let four fold into one and point you towards paradise. Crap, I really am going to just continue on with the game, am I? God. Because that's the thing, I don't like losing momentum. So, we'll see... What do you think, girl? It's a big block of ice. It's a big block of ice there. Oh, I can skip this. Okay, so apparently, like, there's- This place must be very sacred. If all the Velemental powers can coexist here. It, it just- it makes me really intrigued. Oh, I guess I'll hit it. I was gonna do them all and then hit them all, but, like, that would probably end up taking more time. <laughs> Smack! Oh, I wonder if there's going to be more lasers. Like when we were in the desert. So. Ooh. But what? Ice or water? Probably water. I have a feeling we want ice for when there's water so we can freeze the water and walk on it. And I know I, I would normally do the wrong options for flavor text and I'm like, okay. But uh, I think I just want to see what lies beyond here. Because the thing is, I'm a little late for today's episode, and I'm recording this the day it's going up. So I don't even know if I'm going to record a second one. I might just record this one and then edit it and then maybe record some more. Who knows? Oh, whoops. I'm crazy. This is clearly the Earth Elemental. Oh, I love the way the ocean looks from up here. It's really rad. This game almost has a Wind Waker look to it. I wouldn't call it exactly, like, cell shaded because it's not that 3D type of cell shading But it's just, it's a really interesting look. Oh, wonderful. And then one more. Yeah, that's totally the Ice Velemental. Oh, it even tells you what Velemental you need because the statue is that Velement. Velemental! Velemental, Velemental, <laughs> That's hard to say three times fast. All right, let's use the ice power. You see, moments like this make me wonder if it's really good game design. <laughs> Cause like, I get it. You know, they already kind of make you do this in the Diamond Island. But at this point, you just fought a boss and then it's like, okay, like, is there any nuance? Like you would expect this to be passable if like maybe each one would like throw an enemy at you or you know, it just feels like a really arbitrary, like, sequence step thing. It feels like padding. I don't know. Maybe I'm just being overly critical, but... <laughs> it's like, okay, activate power, hit statue. Activate power, hit statue. Like, there couldn't have been, like, a little something different? Whoa. That light, it's going pyaw right through the clouds. This is... Why do I feel like religion is gonna become a part? Like, lore religion for this game. Light is calling to us. Well, I guess I ain't going to Japan land because now I gotta do this. Because you don't- a beam of heavenly light doesn't come from on high in front of you. 
and you just say no, you know? Hopefully there's a warp pipe. <laughs> then I'll consider the flow a little bit more breakable. So, but the green streamer, how cool would it be if we just take out the green streamer, just snip it, like, right away? That'd be super rad. But I know this is gonna, like, because each chapter is pretty jam-packed. Shangri Spa? Are we in straight up heaven? What is this place? Where are we? Seems like we're up pretty high, but it's too cloudy to see much. Or are we in Nirvana? Like, jeez. Okay. It kind of trails off into the clouds. Shall we try to see where it leads? All right. Oh, oh my god. Oh no! Why do you- I'm just exploring, girl. Well, it's good to know that we can go back down. Let's see what lies in the clouds. Poor Captain Toad is waiting for us at the sea tower. What? The everlasting fudge. Paradise found. We did it! No more one-up mushrooms. We're done. Mario's in heaven. Who lives up here? Yes, we found paradise. You know what that means? Because I don't. Because I'm excited. Because it sounds good. Just sounds good. And they did this in another game. Super Paper Mario. What What do they call it? Right, the over there. <laughs> because hell, or the underword, underword, underworld, was the underwear. And then heaven was the over there. Or Olympus, I guess, in that particular rendition of it. Man, I should probably finish Super Paper Mario. When did I leave off? In space? Or Floro Sapiens? It's one of those. They're colorless! Are we in straight up heaven? Welcome to Shangri Spa. I don't feel like this place is accessible to the other people. You need velamental powers to get here, so what are these toads smoking? Shangri Spa? That sounds amazing. What does it mean? Probably hot springs. Shangri. It kind of sounds like angry, but these toads don't look angry. They're almost too calm. It's sure it's mysterious. They've achieved an enlightenment. Our first customer in what feels like eons, and it's Mario? This is a blessed day. You are always welcome in Shangri Spa. I gotta hear what all these crazy people say. Did you get the special prize for visiting all the toad statues in the Great Sea? I want to see it. Oh, no, I don't know what that is. Seek and you shall find. Come follow me to paradise. He just gave me money. Someone at the front desk will be blessed to assist you. <laughs> oh no, one ever talks to me. What should I say? There's too much pressure. Inspire your journey. Your joy. No, I blew it! I love it! <laughs> Did you enjoy the trials you passed? I hope so. We just want you to arrive pre-entertained. I just need to clear the three childs and join us today. Man, so these guys know about Diamond Island and all that stuff too. Yeah, I guess anywhere where there are toad statues, they know what's going on there. Okay, I feel like he's the important one, so... Hey, look at that! It's a Super Marino toy! Toy? Super Marino? Not at all. It's a replica of the Spa Marino, a submarine we used to escort our guests to the Diamond Island Trials. It looks exactly like ours. I actually have quite a lot more to say about it. Do you want to hear its fascinating history? Yeah! Oh good, I love telling the story. So according to legend, our little Spa Marino was stolen by the mythical Captain Tiawed. <laughs> Yo, really? How old is he? As a sort of ransom, he offered the sub back to King Shroomsies in exchange for the King's crown. It's all connected! The frickin' pharaoh of the desert! Well, that didn't sit well with the Shroomsies, a major spa enthusiast and Shangri Spa's most generous tipper. He also liked being king. He ranged and uh, frozen in a block of ice. What a story, right? Jeez! Wow, really? Being stuck in a deep freeze must have made Captain Teod uh, less of a hothead. He seemed nice. Definitely not a king toppler, you know? I am going to draw a fan art of Captain Teod. Like, that's gonna be awesome. I want... Uh, no thing. So he knew the whole time, I think. I think Captain Teod knew the whole time about Diamond Island. Shan! Sean? Yeah, I, w I, I have the thing on, so I would know if there are hidden blocks around here. So that's Sean, or Shan. And I'm guessing this is Gri? <gasps> King Shrimsies! 
That seems familiar. Are you familiar with the Ancient Ones of the Scorching Sandpaper Desert? We are! Yes, in fact, our services here at Shangri Spa date even to those ancient times. It's said that King Shroomsy himself was a frequent visitor. Liked his towels pre-warmed, if I recall. In any case, the relief was a gift from his kingdom. Thank you for asking me about it. This is amazing! Lore! Grease Spa! Why are they so far away from each other? <laughs> Alright. What are you? To return to the less relaxing but more real world, please use a pipe beyond this door. Ooh! Okay. Wow, I do have a warp. So I probably can go back to Japanland if I want to. I forget the name of it. Something Studios. You'll need to check at the front desk and pay a mandatory suggested donation first. <laughs> mandatory suggested donation. I love it. Welcome to Shangri Spa, Mario. We are a place for you to rest, reflect, and be renewed through the power of hot springs. Hooray! Sign me up! My mind, body, could use all those things. Even though I made a paper and I'd probably just dissolve, that'd be weird. My suggested donation and it for admission is 1,000 coins and it is mandatory. Might I suggest you make that decision now. Just donation now. Oh, well, if you change your mind, Shangri Spa will be waiting. Great! Perfect time to jump ship and go back to... Oh, damn it. So, uh, th Oh, you're back. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> Wrong one. Dude, he would have a field day in that place. Okay. Sh Shogun Studios. Now I will not sound horribly racist and offensive. Hi, guy. Welcome to Shogun Studios. Great. I have the freaking master pass. So, no, that's not an entry pass. <laughs> oh, they actually said that. Uh, boom. Royalty pass. Because now this place is all populated, and I'm sure there's stuff that I gotta do here, so... The next episode will be a filler episode, I guess. Huh. And, uh, we're gonna go and find the secrets, because that is very important, and of course, we're gonna do that next episode! Thanks guys so much for watching, we are gonna take a small detour from the game, the main game. To do this, maybe I'll record this episode, just so we have it, and then I'll edit today's episode so if that makes any sense anyway <laughs> bye guys i hope you have a wonderful day and happy thanksgiving because that's tomorrow this is dave out peace out and i'll see you when i see you